context, it will enable the people in the slum to have a decent, uh, a decent household. Sisi vijana tuna job. Iyo ndi omboka enye na pigo pale enye na saidia vijana. Wa mama wale enye na pigia nini chakula kwa atuwa mjengo. Hapo ndi omboka hao inaingia. So wakati hii mjengo inasimamisho kwa sababu ya usinglevi inatuma sana kwa sababu the crime rate itakuwa juu. Welcome to our channel ladies and gentlemen. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you are watching for the first time. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Allow me to thank you in a very special way if you are one of our subscribers or you are supporting this channel in one way or the other. May God bless you. Now today, a group of people calling themselves slum dwellers or hustlers took to the street to protest in, in, in favor or in support of the housing levy that includes the building of the uh, affordable housing and the deduction of the housing levy that was rendered unconstitutional by the courts of justice. And I have seen the, the, the Kenya Kwanzaa bloggers thrown to the social, uh, social media and they are saying that people want jobs that people need clean housing and they are saying that this is the best thing that ever happened in the Ruto administration. Remember when William Ruto got to power, one of the things that he embarked on was to do away with everything that had been initiated by his predecessor. Remember Uhuru had uh, Kazi Kwa Vijana? that really helped these young people cleaning trenches and all this and they were earning out of it. But when William Ruto got to power, he abandoned everything and in its place, he replaced it with the, this affordable housing and he says it will create jobs to people like masons, plumbers, and I've seen there the, 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 the so-called hustlers are saying that ata wale mama mbawa na pikia ofanyikazi are getting jobs i don't want to refute this but does it make sense that a group of people would would, would, would like that like that, that guy saying that they they co contributed some money to come and demonstrate in the cbd in in nairobi in the city and when you look at them the police are are, are with them and they're being you know accorded some heavy security there does it make sense to you remember this is coming against a backdrop of a bill that has been introduced by St uh, Stuart Mazayo and Azimio senator and they are saying that the relevant committees in the senate will liaise with the, 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 their counterpart committees in the national assembly so that they can start a process of giving back citizens the monies that that uh, had been collected due to this housing levy and they are also saying that they want to stop the government from collecting any further dues any further dues i mean the mount kenya jury those are the lawyers from mount kenya have gone to court to protest against the housing levy and to stop william ruto from implementing any, any, any other taxes. So clearly, no one can hoodwink us that these are people who just decided to wake up, people who are working in the sites and all that. The government is fully behind this. And I want to tell you what it means. Because, you know, Kenyans are wiser. One day, and I, I, I've seen, I've heard the president say that tukuna upungufu wa wajinga. We have, we don't have, you, you know, imbeciles in the country anymore. We have a shortage of, of, of fools. William Ruto has gotten his hand into this money. In fact, the, 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 if there is something that he's not going to let go, is this housing levy, the deduction. Because he had calculated and they know what they're getting out of it. So they want to hide under these hustlers. And they want to say that it is the hustlers who need these jobs? Because you can see some of them are saying, Tunataka nyumba. Now, we on a Tunataka kazi. So it is like they're saying that these hustlers will benefit from the, 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 the clean houses within the slums. 
The last time I checked, the president told us that when you go to Mukuru, it is like uh, uh, one of the cities in the UK. That's what he told us. It is like London or, London or something. So the government wants this money, but they want to use the hustlers. Like they have always done to benefit themselves. And they want to, 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 to propagate this propaganda that the hustlers and the slum dwellers were the zombies. You could even hear them say that Okia Tunataka Nyumba. So they want to put it as if it is Okia Mutata who is denying the hustlers these jobs, who is denying these hustlers these affordable houses. Remember the last time or when, when, when William Ruto initiated this process and people were about, the parliamentarians were about to vote on this bill, he even warned them that he wanted to see any member of parliament who would vote against this housing bill because it was contained in the finance bill 2023. So this is, they are hiding, this is pure mischief. Number two, this is also meant to the courts. Remember, the, 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 when Okia Mutata went to the courts, it dragged, there was a back and forth kind of, uh, and then finally, the high court judges rendered this housing levy unconstitutional. But in a, a, a swift rejoinder, the lawyers that represented the government appealed, and the government was allowed to continue collecting this levy until 2024. And in the meantime, as we wait for 2024, the, the, the majority leader in the National Assembly, Kimani Chungwa, reintroduced another bill that will be amending the, 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 the Employers Act so that we, we bring back the housing bill. So this is meant to the judges. And they are going, the lawyers will be going there to the judges and they will say that in light of demands from the hustlers, this cannot be stopped. Rather, I, I can assure you that the appellate court will set aside the ruling of the high court. Because this is going to form the basis of the argument. I know what the government always do. When they form a narrative, they will run with it. They will be sponsoring people on TVs to talk about it. Remember, when they formed a, a narrative that there were some people who wanted to subvert the rule, the, the, the will of the people in Bomas. They ran with it, that narrative to cleanse, to cleanse Chebukati, to legitimize William Samoy Ruto. So this is going to be the next talk in town. And it will be used in court. It is going to be to, be, to, be, to form everything. And they are going to intimidate the court to set aside the ruling to allow William Ruto to continue collecting the housing levy. And I can assure you, he's not ready to let go. That is why the other time he said that the sword that he, he was given during the swearing in was not meant to cut Mboga. This sword is meant to deal with people who oppose the housing levy. People who go to court, the Law Society of Kenya, human rights activists, the Haki Africa, Okiao Mutata, the opposition, because the, all, all these groups are opposed to the idea of housing levy. And this tells you just how serious William Ruto is with this housing levy. Because when he threatened, people thought he was joking. But those who have worked with him understand that it was not a joke. He was very serious with it. And if there is something that is going to divide this country in the middle, it's this housing thing. And it could be the very stroke in, 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 a, in, in a camel's back. Because... If William Ruto is not very careful, this is what is going to bring him down. Already you've seen people like uh, the, the, the Mount Kenya fraternity are against it. Those who voted for him are against it. And then one funny thing, the people who are marching there that they want this housing levy, some of them are unemployed. They don't even pay the, 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 the exorbitant uh, illegal deductions that employees are going through. And they're just being used. They're just being used. Even in the parliament, you will see some members of the Kenya Kwanza team will go there and say that you've seen people marching in favor of the housing levy, in favor of the affordable housing, and they will be arguing and they will be telling Mr. Speaker that on that basis, this housing levy must continue. Yet we all know that one person who is going to benefit is just the government. There was the question 
of the safety of the money. How safe is our money when we see corruption in every deal? In the oil deal, in the G2G deal, when the control of budget Margaret Nyakango tells us that the government is rotten. I mean, how safe is this money even if it is going to be deducted? And then don't forget that when, when, when Kenyans were called upon during public participation, three quarters of Kenyans spoke against it. They did not want it. In fact, they told the government that we are ready to pay taxes. But in light or in view of the economic situation, the housing levy can, can wait. And the, 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 the public partic participation was, 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 people were ignored. Their voices were ignored. The legislative arm of the government, parliamentarians, were intimidated and they voted reluctantly because there is nothing they can do. This demonstration was to, to hoodwink other Kenyans that the government allows peaceful demonstration. Remember, if there is one thing that is still haunting this government is how they dealt with the Azimio demonstrators, how people were butchered, how people were killed, others were retrieved from their houses and they were, they, they, they were killed. And so today, they wanted to use this to redeem themselves with that number one, they allow, they, they, it is like they are democratic, that they can allow peaceful demonstrations. And that is why you saw the policemen according maximum security because the, the constitution demands that when disgruntled Kenyans go to the street, that the police is supposed to protect them. So this is exactly what they wanted to do, but I don't think we are, we are that stupid. People understand that the main reason why the police was there, it is because this was a government demonstration. It was like a government demonstrating against itself. So they wanted to, 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 to drive that narrative that when the Azimio supporters went to the street that they were chaotic and that is why there was a clash between them and the policemen. And you will see that. Just, 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 just have set your eyes on the ball. You will see such kind of arguments that when demonstrators are peaceful, police will be peaceful. And that is what they want to achieve. And finally, it really saddens me that the hustlers that have always been used over and over again the hustlers who are told that a government is going to be formed that will be friendly to them, yet there isn't any, even iota of, of, of appointment that remembered the hustlers. There isn't any person. The hustlers who are told that when we are going to get to power, he will lower the cost of living. The, the cost of living is even higher. It's worse than where it was. I remember when the Kenya Kwanza team was campaigning, they criticized Tuhuru Kenyatta about everything, about these levies. Remember this levy, even the housing levy and an attempt to increase uh, some, per some percentage on VAT, on petroleum products, was there. Dabadi spoke against it, William Ruto spoke against it, Kimani Chunga, and the, 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 this is the, during the penultimate moment towards the elections. Now they have come back and they are hoodwinking hustlers again, and that's what I'm telling you, it really, really pains me. There is something that I can now safely conclude. If William Ruto will come back in 2026 and lower the cost of living to hoodwink Kenyans that he has listened to their, their, their plight, these hustlers, hustlers will still vote for them because they will receive a token and they are ready to vote. They don't even remember that tomorrow they will have to live with this government for another five years. So I can safely conclude that in the next elections, let no one cheat you. These hustlers are still going to vote. They are part and parcel of the problem. We are co the authors of our own predicaments because when we are presented with an opportunity to vote wisely, these are the kind of things, the scenes that you see here, really is a, is, is, is a replica of who we are. That's just who we are. Because you cannot imagine that a government that has oppressed people can still give some, you know, some youths who call themselves slum dwellers money to go and throw the streets. I mean, this is like being given a pistol to shoot yourself. But then, that is who we are, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be a battle in the year 2024. This is going to be, I mean, the battle lines have been drawn. And this housing levy is going to, to, to form part of a very, very big altercation between the, 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 those who are supporting it and those who are against it. And I don't think it is something that we should entertain. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen?